My name is Emilio Lopez and I am the commercial director of Topeka Coffee Roasters based out of El Salvador and we are a single origin coffee roaster. So I am a seventh generation coffee farmer based out of El Salvador. My family started migrating into this country uh, back in 1840s and the 1850s and then in the 70s from different parts of my family. You know, I grew up going to the farms but I never really got pushed uh, by my parents into the industry until I personally got interested uh, in it or on it uh, as a student. So I got involved in coffee back in uh, 1999 as a international student uh, going to university in Portland, Oregon. I got interested in coffee. I started importing roasted coffee from El Salvador as an international student and slowly started to sell a little more every time. In 2001, I moved back to El Salvador and um, opened my own roastery, my own mill. And I started exporting roasted coffee um, on a weekly basis to the US. At that time, uh, air freight was still something that was affordable and it was economically uh, possible to um, send freshly roasted coffee from El Salvador. But later um, in 2006, we had to move the roastery uh, overseas. And um, so I've been involved in that industry since then. From the very first time uh, that I got interested, I knew in order to deliver on time, be reliable, and have great quality, you needed to, or you need to uh, be somehow involved in every step of the way. So as a single origin uh, roaster based out of El Salvador, we need to be very creative on uh, the component, components that we use for blends, for espresso specifically, and in order, uh, you know, to brew, uh, you know, the different coffees that a coffee shop, a restaurant, or a, you know, any, any one of our customers needs, uh, we need to have different processes, different altitudes, different varietals. So from day one, we had to become um, uh, creative on, on the processes. Not having another origin to blend with to keep things fresh is a challenge. Maintaining freshness on our products is one uh, another one of the big challenges that we have. We're actually roasting um, on site at the farm. So we have uh, our farm El Manzano is uh, where we have the mill, we have the roastery, we have a full-on lab uh, based out of there with a, an espresso machine. So that's where we cup and taste um, everything that comes out of uh, the roastery. So in that space, in that farm, pretty much you have the whole seat to cup experience, you know, because that is, you know, what's around our brand. We're a seat to cup operation. Um, and what a best way to showcase that than, a, you know, to have everything on site. Well, I think one of the key takeaways from, um, from my, um, my lecture or my uh, sharing uh, to the students will be probably just a, a, a first-hand look of what it's been for me to, to have a roasting operation at origin or in a producing country, especially that we roast 100% Salvadoran coffee is to compete with cheaper coffees that have been imported uh, from from other countries. So uh, competing against instant coffee, it's one of the biggest challenges. One of the uh, goals or one of the, uh, you know, uh, objectives have, has always been how and what makes us different. Obviously, yes, quality has been um, one of the key differentiators, but, um, you know, that seat to cup uh, operation that we have allows us as well to, to make changes quick and to adapt to the different um, just changes that the market has changed, uh, has, has seen in the last decades. So one of the things uh, the students are gonna be able to experience on this course will be 
uh, the fact that our roastery is within the farm and it is right in between the farming, the milling, the exporting, and the roasting. So it will be a hands-on um, um, uh, workshop pretty much as well. Uh, you will be able to see and, and we'll be able to play around with a, a roaster, packaging machine, uh, most likely we'll be cupping some of the coffees that we would be um, roasting as well. Um, and you will be able to see also what are the challenges on a day-to-day -day basis of roasting, packaging, and, um, and filling orders. So I am someone that loves to share uh, the experience that I've been through and um, that's pretty much what the coffee industry is about, uh, relationship sharing knowledge and just um and and, and loving coffee um so um i'm eager to share the good the bad and the ugly about what we've been through and i uh, look forward to having um uh, this pono collective experience uh come to our farm and mill and roastery el manzano